Thank you. Several months ago, I had a rather intriguing experience. I was scheduled to give a little talk on a subject I must have spoken on well over a hundred times previously. But this time, they'd hung a sign over the establishment where the talk was to be given. And a day or two before the talk, as I was crossing the street, I saw the sign. It said, you can do anything with yourself. Well, sir, it got me thinking. I said to myself, that's a pretty tall order. Whoever's making claims like that better have something to back up what he's saying. But I thought, maybe it's not so far out after all. People are doing tremendous things every day. Think of the great heroes of the sports world who achieved things nobody thought could be done until they went ahead and did them. There's an interesting phenomenon at work here, a phenomenon I'm not the first to notice. It's that so many of the world's record holders not only started out as ordinary people, but they started out with seemingly insurmountable handicaps. Any sports fan knows the name of Bob Mathias, perhaps the supreme athlete of our time and winner of two Olympic gold medals. When he was a lad, he was so anemic, so weak, they didn't think he'd make it into adolescence. Or take Rayford Johnson, another Olympic gold medal winner. He got the bottom of his foot ripped off when it got caught in a cotton machine. The experts figured he'd be a cripple for life. Well, the experts were dead wrong. I want to go deeper into this matter after this word. You can do anything with yourself, almost anything at all. All it takes is three things, and the order in which you do them is important. First, find yourself. Second, motivate yourself. Third, commit yourself. Have you really found yourself have you ever released your whole potential? Or is there perhaps something in you that's never quite gotten started? The pity is that some men live and die and never do find themselves. If you do nothing else, get to know yourself. Find yourself. This is the first step to wisdom, to enable yourself to order your life to control events instead of being controlled by them. The second step, motivation, is more easily come by since it stems directly from self-knowledge. Once you've gotten acquainted with yourself, you've got an idea where you should be headed to make a success of your life. And commitment for an intelligent man should be the easiest of all. All that means is that once you've discovered the truth, you must stick to it and not be diverted or discouraged. That's why I say, you can do anything with yourself.